Hello, hello everybody and welcome back. My name is Cataclysm and I am your ghost host for the most and we're back at Shivers. So, last we left off, I think this was the like gods and mythology room or what have you. So, I'm gonna walk out here. Okay, so this was what the gods Care to refresh and... your memory? I do, thank you for asking. So that means for sure, because I keep forgetting this shit. Okay, so we're not in the Viking burial. Are, well, are we? We are. So then what the hell was the other one? Okay. Um, Two-headed Celtic god is red. Okay. So which area are we in? <laughs> this is a better question, I think. Celtic god, two-headed Celtic god. Okay, so did I say that was red? See, I Care this is how bad my memory, your is. memory Yes, I do. I wish you would quit asking me that every time I press it. Okay, so it's red. Two-headed Celtic god is red. <laughs> <laughs> Just laugh. Laugh all you will. Okay. So... I'm gonna throw that there. I don't know if I actually am supposed to press that button or not. I just do. What are... What in God's name? The red door. Yes, I care, care to, to... refresh your memory? I do. Because I remember seeing this in Beth's address book. It was the red door. At least. Ah, shit. Okay, I'm gonna have to copy this. So I'll be back with you in a little bit. That was not fun. Okay. Okay, so where the hell am I now? I'm somewhere evil. I hope I never have to do this again. Okay. So they got pictures. Well, it's the 80s, so a Polaroid, right? Ancient astrology. Astrology or yeah, astrology. Mysteries of the past. We're gonna read books. It's so short that I feel like there's something important in here, but okay, it's whatever. Plato first coined the word mythologia, or the telling of stories. Fictional or historical, myths are a universal creation. They attempt to explain the unexplainable. The world, God, monsters, man's very existence itself, and death. Okay. God was angry at a Nazi the spider for his latest prank to punish him. God told the Nazi to bring him the items he was thinking about. Through trickery, a Nazi learned that God was thinking about darkness, the moon, and the sun. Uh, a Nazi tricked the Gila monster into showing him where they were bringing the items to God in the bag. A Nazi first threw out darkness, then he threw out the moon, and finally the sun momentarily blinding God and allowing a Nazi to get away. Okay, this music celebrates how the moon came to be in the sky. I don't know what's happening. Whoa, what? Oh, this is so cool! What? So he brought it in a bag. This is so cool! What? That's an Anubis head. This is so cool! That was a neat little parlor trick. I liked that. But now I gotta write down for... The fucking. Okay, so I'm gonna pull that one for a second and look at it. Okay, so Anubis head is. What the fuck are we? Um, spider display. Okay, I'm gonna have to look back at the map. Where the fuck are we? Okay, so we were in the gods. Are we back in the tombs and curses? Is that where we are? 
Okay, okay, I've had enough. I don't want to look at it anymore. Okay, so... Most primitive creatures have myths explain the introduction of the death of the world to the Meredith. Death was willed by the goddess. I'm not gonna say that. Who sent the spirit journeying across the ocean to the underworld enclosed in a carved chest? The bodily remains stood guard, frightening away intruders. Yeah, that would scare me away. It was terrifying. Adophis, Apophis, the serpent. According to Egyptian myths, the serpent, the serpent Apophis, attacks the sun god Ra every night, battling it until morning. Priests of Ra enact the battle by inscribing a wax effigy with the name of the serpent and hacking it into pieces while reciting a spell. I don't want to get attacked. Oh. Okay. Where the hell are we? Where are we? Where are we? I don't know where we are. Cyclops. Uh oh. Uh oh. Nope. Nope. Oh my god, where the fuck am I? I'm so lost. Okay, so there was nothing to show that way. Hi guys. I don't want to click on any of you. There's nothing doing over here. Odd. These pictographs found in civilizations having no interaction with each other look extraordinarily similar. One is led to believe that the ancient civilizations communicated with beings from other planets. <sighs> Told you. I knew that was going to come in handy. Back with you in a minute. Okay. Got it solved. Drop my hand. Got it solved. B -I -I. So what did I unlock? Oh, talisman. Um, oops. Why? It's like a crocodile head. Okay, so I'll write that down. Crocodile head. Croc head. UFO. Planetarium. Okay. Since 1947, when American pilot Kenneth Arnold described what he saw as, they flew like a saucer would if you skipped it across the water, man has reported thousands of UFOs. Hysteria? Then why do we find flying saucers creeping into prehistoric cave paintings 7,000 years old? Not wrong. And giant Nazca markings in the deserts of Peru that can only be seen from thousands of feet in the air. As you investigate further, you'll discover we are not alone. We are not alone. Where the fuck? Uh, I have this listed as also creepy torture shit. So, I'm gonna guess that's the torture chamber. Man has taken it upon himself to penalize his fellow men for every conceivable offense, many trivial. Historically, singing insulting songs in Rome, injuring a cat in Egypt, and even selling bad beer in Babylon could bring the death penalty. Wow, that's not very nice. Hopefully nothing happens to me. Okay. That's Bad shit around this part. Is there anything there? Oh! That's nice. Prior to the French Revolution, beheading was the death sentence of choice for the upper class. Thanks to the invention of the guillotine, decapitation was also made available to commoners. Oh, the gift that keeps on giving. Dr. Guillotine said that the victim of this machine does not suffer, but feels nothing more than a slight chill on his neck. Have you asked a dead person lately what that must feel like? Because I don't think they'd agree with you. What the fuck is with that paint? Look at that shit! What the fuck? That is some scary ass shit. Alright. Hey, hey, hey. Turn me around. Turn me around. Where am I? Okay. Alright. 
Okay, that's what I wanted to look at. Was the... Can I look at the plaque? Thank you. Historically, the search for the perfect hang was a heated topic. Arguments raged over where the neck put to put the noose, how thick the rope should be, and especially how far the body should drop once the trapdoor was sprung. The debate came down to inches. It seemed that 14 feet 5 inches was the ideal until people were decapitated as they dropped, their heads severed by the rope, and they dropped. The drop in this exhibit, however, is only 10 feet, so you wouldn't die from it. So 14, 5, and 10. I'm gonna write that down because it seems numbers are very important to these people. Oh good, we get to head up there. That's so creepy. I don't want to look at that. Hey buddy, how's it hanging? Ah, uh, uh, keep your head up. Alright, I'm done. Okay, so I'm gonna mess around with this thing for a while. Fabulous book. What do we got? Try. Hey! I got that from the, uh, I don't know if it was a coincidence, but I got that from the. Please don't say that was an actual person. That was a little horrifying. How do I get out of here? How do I get out of here? Bazinga! Okay. Wait. What is it of? What is that, like a demon chicken? Okay, demon chicken. Uh... I would really just like to find the other half to the piece I've been carrying around pretty much this entire time. It would be fabulous. So, demon, chicken, head, uh, execution room. Okay. I All right. Oh. Okay. Can I get out of this view? Oh, I went downstairs to get down there. Okay. Well, it's now I know how to get back. Alright. Ugh. Do I even want to know what's in this stuff at this point? No. Nope. Mm -hmm. Not fucking with that. Oh, come on. What is this? What the fuck? Oh, good. I, don't, I was like, is this a fun house? Don't tell me this is a fun house. The Funnikin Puzzle. Found in a tomb in Iran, this ancient game was supplied as entertainment during the Departed's trip to the Underworld. You can conquer the ancient game while you're still alive if you carefully watch the score. Ten points are given for the correct symbol in the proper position, and one point is awarded, awarded for the correct symbol in the wrong position for the lever to begin. Alright, what you got for me? Ten points. Nope. See? I'm already on to their bullshit at this point. I know that they're gonna randomize these. And that I'm gonna be lucky to get out of this alive, so I'm gonna look for the highest possible number for it to start on. Why? Because I don't like these puzzles anymore. I'm done. I'm tired of these puzzles. And 20 is not a good odd in terms of 5 being up there. But 20 was better than 0. 20. So it goes. Mask. Got it! Oh, this game is a bitch. Alright. Well, I wasn't gonna do any better than 20, so... What does this lead to? Huh? If you can read this, you're too close. Okay, I'll take that advice and just leave. Huh? Oh wait, no, no, I don't want to leave. What's that, like, what's... Does 
anybody understand what the fuck I'm supposed to be doing here? Whoa! Oh, I pushed the, the thing and it moved. Okay. Oh, come on! Hold, please. Fuck. Oh my god. What did that do? Oh god, more torture panels. I don't look at this one. Okay, so like... Oh. I, I don't even know what I would call that. Um, some sort of god. Mystery room. Head of the mystery god. Maybe. Oh, so I've got to hit all six of those. This is a really interesting room, though. This is a very strange place. Okay, and I don't have to do that again, right? Okay, good. All right, I'm going to go ahead and stop it right here. I want to thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys again in the next edition of Shivers. Bye-bye! So interesting over there that you've got to fucking run it. To it. Okay. No! Go the fuck away. I hate these guys. Well, I'm gonna die a lot, aren't I?